Hi, in today's video I would like to showcase the new ML Sound Labs ML Drums and how to use the free version with multi-outs to get it sounding from this. To this. So if you're interested in how to use the multi-out function and how to process the drums even further, stay tuned. So how do we install the multi-out setup in Reaper? You could either click on Insert Virtual Instrument on New Track and select the ML Drums plugin, and it will automatically create all these channels for you. Or if you've already inserted the plugin on a channel, you could right-click it and click on Build Multi-Channel Routing for Output of Selected Effects, which does exactly the same. And now you should have all these output channels named, and I've only renamed the internal uh, reverb and the output which I don't need because I want the single instruments to form the group. So I've muted these two tracks and I've processed the single instruments, which I will show you how I did this. Uh, let's take a look at the mixing section of the plugin. I will provide you the um, presets so you have the same settings as I have. I'm only using a little bit of compression here, no EQ, sending a little bit of uh, the instruments into overhead and room. I've mixed this um, just a little bit, so you could use this. So let's check out the single channels next, and don't worry too much about the exact settings because I will provide you with a track template, so you can load this in your Reaper project, and they're mostly stock settings anyway. So let's check out the kick first. This is how my kick sounds like. So I pitched it up a semitone because I felt like it was just too low. Um, and I compressed it with stock settings, used an EQ with stock settings, and used the W1 limiter to have my uh, levels. So let's check out the snare next. So this is just the direct hit. I like my snare very cracky. Um, this is tuned down 50 cents, no pun intended as a transient shaper by uh, Analog Obsession called Trax. The Spike EQ uh, is nice to um, get some of these frequencies pushed up in the mix. Uh, Mojo is adding some nice saturation to the snare. And the EQ, just to get rid of the mud. And a W1 limiter again. Uh, let's check out the toms. I've used a compressor here uh, with stock settings in EQ. And uh, a gate, so I get rid of the rumble. Yeah, they're fairly short. Um, then let's check out uh, the overhead. Yeah, just a basic EQ. Then the room, which is fairly important. I also always add some more uh, room because I like big rooms on uh, reverbs. So this is how the uh, room sounds like. Yeah. And this is how the reverb for the snare sounds like. I've only uh, used the routing function in Reaper, so I've dragged and dropped this onto reverb. And this is also the uh, compressor and tile reverb. Uh, this is how the snare sounds like with just reverb. And with the direct hit, Yeah, so that's basically how I process these channels. Uh, and combined, they are in a group bus, which I have a tape bus on, a compressor again with stock settings, head crusher free, which I will show you how it sounds like without it. And with it turned on. Yeah, so, and just a W1 limiter again to set my overall le levels. So this is how the whole song sounds like now. Yeah, so if you have any questions regarding this setup, let me know, write me down in the comments below, and I will try to answer your questions. Um, these DI tracks are really fantastic. I like counterparts. Um, the guitars and, and bass are fairly new to me. I've used free plugins again, so if you'd like to know about my newest plugins that I use, let me know as well. Bye.